Now, this is a nice surprise. A team of techies quietly built one of the world's largest satellite factories right here in Hong Kong. It was unveiled this afternoon and it's a classic Hong Kong story. It's a big project done in real style with quiet efficiency and impressive scale. The doors were open this afternoon and journalists, including yours truly, were allowed in to check out the scene. What we saw was pretty mind-blowing. Come along for the ride, I'll take you with me. We had to wear bright blue overshoes because the factory is a dust-free environment. I'm not sure if they really match our suits, but you have to make sacrifices, right? The company is called A-Space, but the full name is Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group. In true Chinese style, it has partnerships with more than 40 firms around the world, including in India and Africa and the Arabian countries. The massive operation in Zheng Quan O, more than 200,000 square feet in size, was officially launched just today but immediately becomes one of the world's largest intelligent satellite manufacturing centres, as well as the most modern, of course. It is set up to create 200 satellites a year, and the first 15 orders have already been received. At the entrance to the centre is a model of the factory, which opens up to reveal the workings inside, and the staff have vaguely astronautical suits. They enter through a decontamination room, well, there's two, one for men, one for women, to make sure you don't bring any germs in. And then you are in these uh, big white techie spaces. Industrial robots do the lifting so staff don't have to actually touch the satellites. I thought there was a bit of a, a steampunk feel to this particular control panel. Do not approach non-professionals, it said. Well, that's a good lesson for life, maybe. I don't know. But the coolest part was the room of spikes. This is a large room with blue foam spikes on all the walls, on the floor and on the ceiling. This room and the next room, which is covered in white panels, are used to test the ability of the satellites to withstand cosmic rays, radiation and so on. I must admit, the journalists did look like a group of clowns as we, as we stomped around with giant blue feet. Uh, but hey, you know, the cap fits, right? Hey, Space is definitely a very cool company. They even have their logo on their teapots. Then we got to the heart of the operation, which is a pair of giant chambers, which look like Houston Flight Control NASA centers with massive screens. What do the satellites do when they're in space? Well, pretty much anything you want. The company demonstrated some of the uses uh, the stuff was made for. Here she is saying that uh, the satellite can see things that humans can't see. For example, if there's some subtle but dangerous ground subsidence going on, presaging, you know, the appearance of a, a sinkhole or a landslide, the satellite can give you early warning of this. So, especially for international airport, the tiny change of the ground angle may cause very severe consequences, especially for aircraft landing. Also, in some mode, we can use this information to prevent some disaster like landslide. Uh, it can be used for rescue purposes, finding survivors after an earthquake, for example. Uh, the group's software was used for exactly that purpose after the quake in Turkey. It can be used for environmental monitoring because uh, it doesn't just look at the ground from high up, it actually does sort of radar detection and pollution monitoring and so on. From this screen, you know, our satellites can not only just take in images, we can also detect the carbon dioxide level. During the discussions afterwards, one of the reporters said, won't the US just sanction the hell out of this project? The reply was, well, why would they? It's a straightforward public commercial enterprise designed for civic uses. It's not some sort of secret military thing. Yeah, that's true. But the US has sanctioned numerous developments just to try to contain China's development. Still, this looks like a really good civic project that draws multiple regions of the world together. So we can at least hope for the best. The world is a big place and humanity will achieve more if we all work together. Uh, here on Earth, and up in the heavens, where the satellites roam free. Peace.